everyone. Today we are gonna learn about the Vietnam War. Vietnam War was a conflict that pitted the communist government of North Vietnam and its allies in South Vietnam, known as the Viet Cong, against the government of South Vietnam and its principal ally, the United States. Called the American War in Vietnam was also part of a larger regional conflict and a manifestation of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union and their respective allies. The Vietnam War was the longest in U.S. history until the Afghanistan War, 2002-2014. The war was extremely divisive in the U.S., Europe, Australia, and elsewhere. The Vietnam War and active U.S. involvement in the war began in 1954, though ongoing conflict in the region had stretched back several decades. After Ho's communist forces took power in the north, armed conflict between northern and southern armies continued until a decisive battle at Dien Bien Phu in May 1954 ended in victory for northern Viet Minh forces. The French loss at the battle ended almost a century of French colonial rule in Indochina. The battle prodded negotiators at the Geneva Conference to produce the final Geneva Accords in July 1954. The Accords established the 17th parallel as a temporary demarcation line separating the military forces of the French and the Viet Minh. North of the line was the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, or North Vietnam, which had waged a successful eight-year struggle against the French. The North was under the full control of the Workers' Party, or Vietnamese Communist Party, led by Ho Chi Minh, its capital was Hanoi. In the South the French transferred most of their authority to the state of Vietnam, which had its capital at Saigon and was nominally under the authority of the former Vietnamese Emperor, Bao Dai. And in Diem, the newly installed Premier of South Vietnam, had the full support of US military advisors, who trained and re-equipped his army along American lines. Diem called for a referendum only in the South and in October 1955 he declared himself President of the Republic of Vietnam. Many of the South's problems could be attributed to the continuing incompetence, rigidity, and corruption of the Diem regime. As the situation continued to deteriorate, Kennedy sent two key advisors, economist Walt W. Rostow and former Army Chief of Staff Maxwell Taylor, to Vietnam in the fall of 1961 to assess conditions. They recommended a greatly expanded program of military assistance, including such items as helicopters and armored personnel carriers. Diem's death was followed by Kennedy's less than three weeks later. With respect to Vietnam, the assassinated president left his successor, Lyndon B. Johnson, a legacy of indecision, half measures, and gradually increasing involvement. Yet Johnson, like Kennedy, was also well aware of the high political costs of losing another country to communism. In August of 1964, after Democratic Republic of Vietnam torpedo boats attacked two U.S. destroyers in the Gulf of Tonkin, Johnson ordered the retaliatory bombing of military targets in North Vietnam. Congress soon passed the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which gave Johnson broad war-making powers, and U.S. planes began regular bombing raids codenamed Operation Rolling Thunder, the following year. The communists were now deliberately targeting U.S. military personnel and bases, beginning with a mortar attack on the U.S. air base at Bian Ho near Saigon in November. Many of Johnson's advisors now began to argue for some sort of retaliation against the North. Air attacks against North Vietnam, they argued would boost the morale of the shaky South Vietnamese and reassure them of continuing American commitment. 
In March 1965, Johnson made the decision with solid support from the American public to send U.S. combat forces into battle in Vietnam. By June, 82,000 combat troops were stationed in Vietnam, and military leaders were calling for 175,000 more by the end of 1965 to shore up the struggling South Vietnamese army. Johnson authorized the immediate dispatch of 100,000 troops at the end of July 1965 and another 100,000 in 1966. In addition to the United States, South Korea, Thailand, Australia and New Zealand also committed troops to fight in South Vietnam on a much smaller scale. By the fall of 1965, U.S. Marines and soldiers had clashed with Vietnamese Communists' main force troops in bloody battles on Cape Bar the Batangan Peninsula. The U.S. forces employed their full panoply of firepower, including air strikes, artillery, armed helicopters, and even B-52 bombers, to inflict enormous losses on the enemy. Yet the Communists believed they had more than held their own in these battles, and they were encouraged by the fact that they could easily reoccupy any areas they might have lost once the Americans pulled out. The regular forces of the Viet Cong and the NVA would continue to suffer enormous casualties at the hands of massive U.S. firepower. Eventually, went the argument, the Communists would reach the point where they would no longer be able to replace their losses on the battlefield. Having been ground down on the battlefield, they would presumably agree to a favorable peace settlement. Washington declared that the war was being won, but American casualties continued to mount, and much of what the public could see. The U.S. Air Force sprayed millions of gallons of a herbicide called Agent Orange along the Vietnamese border with Laos and Cambodia, in areas northwest of Saigon, and along major waterways. Agent Orange was effective in killing vegetation, but only at the price of causing considerable ecological damage to Vietnam and of exposing thousands of people to potentially toxic chemicals that would later cause serious and sometimes fatal health problems. Most battles of the war were sharp, very brief engagements between units of fewer than 200 men. Many of these lasted only a few hours, often only a few minutes, but nevertheless could result in heavy casualties. On January 31, 1968, some 70,000 Democratic Republic of Vietnam forces under General Von Guyen Jaya launched the Tet Offensive, a coordinated series of fierce attacks on more than 100 cities and towns in South Vietnam. An attempt to limit the volume of American casualties, he announced a program called Vietnamization, withdrawing U.S. troops, increasing aerial and artillery bombardment and giving the South Vietnamese the training and weapons needed to effectively control the ground war. The North Vietnamese continued to insist on complete and unconditional U.S. withdrawal. In January 1973, the United States and North Vietnam concluded a final peace agreement, ending open hostilities between the two nations. War between North and South Vietnam continued. In 1976, Vietnam was unified as the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, though sporadic violence continued over the next 15 years including conflicts with neighboring China and Cambodia. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you liked the video. In the comments down below feel free to write suggestions regarding the topics you want me to do next.